Hey guys, welcome back to Drawing with Digi. Sorry for the lack of videos lately. Life has kind of been super hectic. My mom got married and my new stepdad's been moving in. Anyway, enough excuses. In this video, I'm drawing a piece called Band-Aids Don't Fix Bullet Holes, which is actually inspired by a poem I wrote, so I'm going to read that poem. Band-Aids don't fix bullet holes, sandbags don't stop fires, and no mud has ever, ever, ever stopped a storm. But the sandbags can keep the storm at bay, the mud will stop the fire, we can stitch the bullet holes and even stop the bleeding. But the one thing that has no cure are the holes that form inside our heart and the cracks that come alongside them. So basically, in this piece, I'm drawing a heart with bullet holes and cracks in it that is being held together by band-aids. That's basically it about what the piece is about. This piece actually took me around an hour and a half to complete the entire thing. So to condense it as short as it is, even though it's not really that short, I had to edit a lot out. So the entire sketching process has been edited out. And the shading that I did over and over got edited out. And then when I finally got it how I wanted to, I had forgotten to push record. So there's no footage of the shading in here anywhere. In all of my videos, I use the app Ibis Paint for the drawings. Sometimes I use my screen recorder, which is the DU screen recorder, and sometimes I just extract the movie that Ibis Paint records. And then for editing my videos, I use the app Power Director, and these are all Android apps because what I use to do all of that is my Samsung Galaxy Tab S3. And that's pretty much everything I have to say about this piece. Right now, I'm currently saving up for an iPad Pro, so I can hopefully make better videos for you guys. I'll still be using my Tab S3 to make some videos, but probably mostly my iPad when I get it. So if you would like to purchase any art from me, you can DM me on Instagram or comment down below what you want. The price will vary depending on if it's traditional or digital and how long it takes me to complete. With most of my art that I like sell, I start the base price at about a dollar just because I'm not quite to the professional level that I would like to be at, but I still think my art is worth something. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe and leave a comment down below of what kinds of content you would want me to make. And again, if you want me to make anything for you and buy it as like a present or anything, then DM me on Instagram or comment down below where I can contact you, like your email or something. I'll also leave my email in the description along with all of my social media. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.
last thing I forgot to mention was how I make my music for my videos to avoid having copyright issues. And the app I use is called SoundCamp and it just came on my tablet so I'm not sure if you can download it anywhere or if it has to come on your device. Anyway, that's what I use to make my music in case you guys were wondering.